stirred something up. Normally, when kids in high school stir something up, it's something stupid like try to get free parking if you have a Prius, that kind of thing. In this case, the student is Joe Springer. And I'm just going to re- a quote from the, uh, the story here reported by Israel, uh, Israel de Bruin. Brookfield High School students buying pricey homecoming dance tickets have been unknowingly funding their peers' college education, a practice school officials ended after a student leader complained about it. Joe Springer, the junior class president, found that of the about $20,000 in revenue from 2008 homecoming ticket sales, $5,000 was paid out in the form of scholarships. Paul, guess who the scholarships went to? Four members of the student council. Oh! Student council sponsors homecoming? 25% of the money from homecoming went to scholarships for members of the student council board. Wow. Two of the recipients were given $1,000 scholarships, while the other two who had served on the board longer got $1,500. Springer said his discovery frustrated him. When people pay for their tickets, they logically assume it is to cover the dance, Springer said. The student body was never told of this, and it is our money. Why would any student knowingly give other students money for college when they need it just as bad? It's not... This is why I love this kid. It's not blank. Logical. You thought he was going to say fair. Not logical. I hope this kid's a conservative. He's got, even if he isn't, he's got conservative tendencies and he doesn't even know it because he exposed wasteful spending to benefit the elite, the kind of crap that I pride myself on discovering. This guy, if he's not conservative yet, has a future. If he's not conservative, any of you who know him, get him conservative because we need his thinking on our side. That's pretty good stuff. First of all, he didn't keep his yap shut. He's the class president. He could have, you know, he could have gone along and tried to get one of the scholarships next year. This is all good stuff. Story continues. Sarah Stecker, East's student council advisor, in other words, here's the person that's going to defend what they were doing, said the scholarships have been given for more than a decade to selected council members as a reward for hard work. It's not anything that's ever been a secret. There's nothing to hide. Oh, okay. So here's the teachers' union hack defending, taking student money from a dance and using it for scholarships for the hoity-toities on the student council. Almost wonder if this was legal. It's hard to determine, would student council... It's a public school. It's a student council. Would that be considered public money in any sense or not? I mean, it's being held at a public school. The student council is an officially sanctioned body of the school, which is a government entity. It's certainly not tax money, but that doesn't mean it's not public money. If you take money from a school organization and you run the organization and you convert it to your own, I I wonder... Paul said concession money from football games. I think that would be similar. If you took concession money from football games and used it to further the education of the parents of the kids whose parents ran the concession stand, I'd say it'd be wrong. Now that we asked out, that's probably going on out too. However, Stecker agreed that most students likely do not realize part of the revenue from homecoming pays a portion of their college classmates' college tuitions. Neither did Principal Brett Bowers, who suspended the scholarship program when Springer pointed it out how the awards are funded. Students' money shouldn't leave their hands and go directly into another student's hands, Bowers said. Because the scholarship program predates current administration and advisors, the funding source had never faced their scrutiny. It was a longstanding tradition. Sometimes traditions are really great things. Sometimes they don't get looked at with a critical eye because it's what's been done for so long. Springer, that's the kid who raised all of this, said he started asking questions when he realized homecoming tickets at East cost more than at other schools. See, this kid is great. He picked up on that. He's saying, wait a minute, why are our homecoming tickets more more expensive than homecoming at any other school? East tickets range from about $23 to $30, depending on whether volume or early purchase discounts are used. In comparison, tickets at Homestead and Marquette University High School range from $7 to $13. I love this. You want to hear from the student who defends the practice? Andrew Winghart, a member of East Student Council Executive Board and senior class president, said he hopes the program continues in the future. It's not the practice that's wrong. It was just the method of the practice that was taking place. I would guess the guy who's a senior now and on the student council would like the idea of the student council figuring out ways to give scholarships to itself. 
Think about that. The student, aside from the money, the fact they're getting the money from the dance, student council's awarding scholarships to itself. Isn't there just something very, very, uh, not even self-serving, very, very sickening about that? So I, 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 we, we salute on a day in which public officials are screwing up all over the place. We salute Joe Springer, the junior class president over at Brookfield East for uncovering this scam where the student council was putting on the homecoming dance and then skimming some of the money to pay for their own. Con- Think about that. Give this Craig credit for blowing the whistle on this. And he got suspicious when he wondered, why is our homecoming so much more? That's the kind of thing that would raise his red flags with me. The, this is perfect. Uh, good for this kid. 546. Talk 1130 WISN. Mark Belling, late afternoon show. On the segment after this, we 